Sometimes when we are using a word normally in our vocabulary, we start to stray away from the original meaning of it because it starts to mean something a little bit different in our heads. So in my previous video, we went back and looked at the definition of persistence so we could figure out how to persist properly. And in this video, I want to go back and look at the actual definition of affirmation. Affirmation, the assertion that something exists or is true. Something that is affirmed, a statement or proposition that is declared to be true. Confirmation or ratification of the truth or validity of a prior judgment, decision, etc. So saying affirmations is just confirming whether or not a prior judgment of our circumstances is in fact true. So we are taking our current assumptions and either persisting in them or changing them by simply asserting the truth or the way that we prefer things to be. Our preferences are our truth. They are our reality in the law of assumption. So we say affirmations as the truth of what we want things to be or our preferred reality. Affirmations are not a technique. They are simply thoughts that you are consciously choosing to rewire your brain and get rid of those old assumptions and beliefs instead of letting our mind run rampant and create things based off of the 3D, our triggers or any unwanted circumstances in the 3D, instead of thinking those thoughts continuously and spiraling, we are changing our thoughts. We are not affirming to change anything. We're not meddling with the 3D and changing anything by saying affirmations. We are affirming to remind ourselves who we are, which is why we usually affirm from our God state or by saying, I am. I am is God, is the operant power. So when we say I am wealthy, we're stating I am wealth. In my God state, I choose to experience the version of myself who is wealthy. Like I mentioned in the last video, instead of just barreling through problems and trying to convince ourselves of the opposite by repeating these little phrases, we're actually pivoting around the problem and persisting in our new reality by affirming. We're seeing our circumstances and we're recognizing our circumstances and we're saying, okay, I see you, I allow you to be there, but I am going this way instead. I am moving into a new reality. I am going into a different experience and you cannot come with me. Your old self cannot come with you. Your old self is not a part of this new journey that you are on. You can't not affirm. You're always affirming something, whether you're reaffirming bad, shitty, negative, self-destructive beliefs. Um, just by me sitting here in front of this window and seeing the rain coming down, I'm affirming in my head, it's raining outside. But if I changed that to saying, it's sunny, it's sunny, then I would experience the sun. I'm holding this rain as true in my reality just by recognizing that it's there. You're always thinking something. So just keep that in mind. We're not changing, we're shifting. You're always affirming something. So keep your thoughts in check and keep your mind on what, did it, what are you affirming? Because whatever you're affirming for is what you're going to experience. So if you want to change something, change something. How do you do that? Changing your affirmations. Thinking about your bad relationship with your specific person and how they're not texting you is affirming that they are not texting you. So they're not going to text you. That is when you immediately change your thoughts and affirm instead, they're texting me right now. They just texted me. I need to respond. I should probably respond to them at this point. If you're thinking about it, you're affirming it. So where are you going to put your awareness? Where are you going to put your attention? What affirmations are you going to choose instead? Now, how do we maximize the potency of our affirmations? How can we make the most of our affirmations within the smallest amount of time? That is to robotically affirm. And when we robotically affirm, the quick rundown is we want to make it as simple as possible so that we can repeat it over and over and over and over and over without having to 
consciously be present in that mindset. It's just something that starts to replay on autopilot in the back of our brain. That's why we want to keep them short and concise. We want like one or two affirmations so that they just become normal, natural thoughts, repeating, 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 repeating. That helps them sink into your subconscious. You don't want to have this big, long page of affirmations that you say every day and you're trying to remember what they even are. You want to pick one or two specific things that are stating that your desire is already yours. I'm in a committed relationship with SP. He's texting me right now. That's it. That's all you have to say all day long or whenever you think about it, especially if you ever are thinking, that you're not in the relationship, that you're single, or that they're not texting you. Also, robotically affirming will keep your brain from having any time at all to affirm against it. You won't be able to think against it because you're constantly thinking towards it. Robotically affirming drills these affirmations into your brain until you find yourself habitually thinking these thoughts, and that is what creates your new reality and you can beat around this resistance of disbelieving what you're saying. Because when you're affirming robotically and you're doing that throughout the day while you're in SATS, so we're in SATS multiple times a day. SATS means stay akin to sleep. So this just means when you're doing something habitual like brushing your teeth, putting your makeup on, washing the dishes, sometimes driving, these are all moments when we start to slightly slip into this subconscious state or state akin to sleep. So when you're affirming during these times, you kind of let your consciousness shut down and those words are drilling straight into your subconscious. And that gets rid of the resistance because you're not consciously thinking against those things. It's just going straight in. That is why doing sats before you go to bed is super important because you're e even just affirming before you go to sleep is super important because it's putting these thoughts into your head right before you drift off into eight hours of full wide open subconsciousness and creation. What I also want to mention going forward about your affirmations and when you're creating these affirmations, not only do you want to have these one or two things that are your desire, but you need to pay attention to the phrasing of how you're saying things. You always want to be adding self-concept around your desires so that they're more sustainable. And I'm smiling because I know people don't want to hear this. People don't want to do self-concept. And that was me at the beginning too. I didn't want to do self-concept. I thought I had a great self-concept. I just wanted what I wanted. You don't realize until you start actually doing the self-concept and you start feeling yourself change and become more worthy in a way of your desires. And like I said, they will be more sustained. If you're just sitting here affirming, my SP is in love with me. My SP is obsessed with me. That's not really helping you get into the state of being worthy to be loved and desired by anyone. That's just saying this person loves and is obsessed with you. You need to realize deep down at your core that you are always the person who was loved. You are always the person who is obsessed over and desired and cherished because you can keep affirming for this thing over and over and over and you will get it. They will be in love with you. They will be obsessed with you and they will come back. However, if you don't fully believe in your self concept that you are worthy of that type of thing, eventually those doubts are going to creep in again and you're not going to be able to sustain that manifestation of this person feeling this way about you because you don't feel that way about yourself. You should always be affirming for your self-concept, for yourself. I am the type of person who is cherished, who is loved, who is worthy. So of course SP loves me. Of course he's texting me right now. We don't just want to get things. We want to keep things. So instead of just trying to change a person, change you, change yourself. You are the only one on this journey. It's a journey of self. It's a journey of I am. Start your affirmations as much as possible with I am and you will get into that state faster and you will keep everything you're affirming for. We can take this back from that pivot that I was talking about. So let's say that you're in a situation and you're, you're in a friends with benefits situation. 
and this person you think, you think, this person sees you as just a friend, but you wanna be in a relationship with them. You have to see yourself as the person who is in that relationship instead of just trying to change the person. He's in love with me, he's obsessed with me, he wants to date me. See yourself as I am loved, I am cherished, I am in a relationship with specific person. See yourself as the person in the relationship, not just someone who's trying to change someone's mind or else you're just going to consistently be the person who is trying to change someone's mind. How far is that going to get you into this relationship? If you are associating with a person who just tries and changes someone's mind. You're not the girlfriend or the boyfriend. You're the manipulator with his hands in the 3D. All you have to do, all you have to do is affirm from your God state, I am, and your affirmations will reflect instantly. All you have to do is realize who you are, realize you are the operant power, and affirm from that state as the operant power. That's it. All your affirmations will reflect instantly. Say that with me. All of my affirmations reflect instantly. It's already done. You just have to know that it's already done. And with that, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this video resonated with you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, success stories, please leave them in the comments below. And I will see you guys in a future 